The Russian-Ukraine war is becoming a real a strong wake of call for Europe. So this is why the um, European Sky Shield Initiative was established, the SC, uh, so that countries can have more air defense in a shorter period of time, more affordable, and we can also have standardized systems, so the capability will increase. We deliver our TRML 4D radar as part of that system, and it has performed very well. That's the feedback we get from the customers, that the numbers we can read, that we have a very high performance of the whole weapon system, and the TRML 4D radar is very instrumental, uh, very important to actually to achieve those numbers. Several cruise missiles have been engaged with the Iris TSLM systems, um, I will say double-digit missiles has been intercepted within less than two minutes time, which shows the capability of the system, where a TRML 4D radar is absolutely instrumental for the weapon system to be successful. It's uh, unfortunately we need a battle lab like a war actually to demonstrate the capability of the system, but uh, we we are very proud of how we support the Ukrainians in this in this war. So I think the situation that we have seen in Ukraine, the the, the mix of all the all the threats shows that the, the classic air defense employment principles, mass, mass mobility and integration is really still valid. That you have to have a mix of radars, you have to have enough radars and you have to integrate them together to be able to cope with the threats. So when we come in with the TRML 4D, which is um, a C-band radar for air defense, we have the Spexo radars, which is a short range um, for, for drones. And we also have into this mix, we would also like to bring in uh, the passive radar, which you can see on this screen, where we have uh, TwinWiz, which is actually a complete passive radar. And it's also able to detect uh, very small size uh, targets um, where other radars may, may struggle. So the mix of radars is so instrumental, so important. This is not only about weapon systems and having the weapon systems, but of course you, you need to have, you need to invest in your, in your weapon systems and your capabilities. But then having a multinational approach where you have international forums where the customers or the user nations can sit together with industry and discuss uh, training, logistics, con concepts of operations and doctrines is absolutely it's very important. And the SC, in, SC actually opens up for that, creating, uh, how should I say, places where you can sit down and, and share experiences. So a collaboration is a key word for this.